Hello everyone, welcome to another Clo tutorial. In this video, we'll be covering all aspects of grading on Clo. This video is in three parts, auto grading, importing graded pattern from external software and how to manually grade patterns within Clo. You can refer to the timestamp in the description to skip ahead. First, we'll start with auto grading. In the 2D window, there are two tools for grading the grading tool and auto grading tool. For now, let's focus on the auto grading tool. This tool will help you to automatically grade your patterns, changing the size of your base pattern according to the size of your avatar. Now let's dive right into it. I have an adult avatar here. So I'm going to replace this avatar with a kid avatar. So I think I'll go with the girl avatar. So I'm just going to open the avatar and bring it into my workspace. So yes, now uh, let's create these patterns to make it fit the kid avatar. So for that, I'm going to click on the auto grading tool. You'll get a pop up uh, over here. There's an option uh, called maintain graphic size. If you have a graphic on your garment and you want to adjust the size of the graphic based on the size changes of the pattern, you have to check on this option. Also, always keep the particle distance of your patterns 20 mm for optimum result. So next I'm going to simulate it once. Now you can see that it is auto graded to the new size. So this is how you do auto grading. Now let's see how we can work on graded patterns which were developed in other CAD solutions. I have a DXF and its rule file ready in a folder. A rule file contains all the grading information and you will be able to export it out along with the DXF from other CAD softwares. Always make sure that they are in the same folder and they also have the same file names. So first I'm going to import this DXF into Clo. Now let's go back to Clo. I'm quickly going to import that DXF to my workspace. So import. Okay, I'm opening it right here. All right, so in order to see grading, uh, of this pattern you have to go to your 2d toggle menu and over here you'll be able to see 2d pattern display and when you hover on top of that there is an option right here called as show grading so once i click on this button i will be able to see my grading in my 2d window so these color coded outlines that you see are the graded nest also in the object browser, there is a tab called as grading. So if you click on that, you have all the grading information listed down. So these are all sizes that you are seeing here. So when you click on each sizes, the size of my pattern will also change. So let me quickly change this into a larger size for you to see. So when I click on that, you can see how my pattern changed visibly. Lastly, I'll be showing you how to grade patterns within Clo. I have my file ready. So let's grade this garment using the grading tool. At the beginning of this video, I had already mentioned about the grading tool in the 2D toolbar. For the next step, I'll go to my object browser where my grading tab is visible. If there is no grading applied on my pattern, my grading tab will be empty like this. In here, you will only find two buttons, add button and assign button. Now click on the add button to add a new size group and by default, a new size group and a base size will be created. Now let's rename the size. Just double click on the size and you will be able to rename them. I'm going to change this into a size S. You may have noticed that there is a checkbox with base written next to it. This means that the current pattern in my workspace 
is a size small and that is my base pattern which means all the grading will begin from this base pattern now let's add more sizes just click on the add button medium large and excel for the next step i'll select all the patterns using the grading tool and then click on the assign button which looks like a small download icon now if you go and click on any of these points you'll be able to see a blank rule table to add grading to in my property editor and you'll see three options distance offset and arrow key movement the grading in clow works just like any other cat software which is on the basis of cartesian graph so if you want your point to move up or towards right which is in positive x and positive y you need to give a positive value and likewise if you need to move the point down or to the left you need to input a negative value all right now let's click on a point and start applying grading so your base size which is size s will always be same and inactive and it will have a grayish color you want to apply grading to the rest of the sizes so you just have to double click in order to add a value to the other sizes so with the graph direction in my mind i want this point to go half an inch to the right so i'll type in a positive value half an inch in x axis and now i want my point to move up half an inch so again i'll give a positive value in the y axis so i'll follow the same uh, for the size l and xl except i'll give another value which is 1 inch for large each in x axis and y axis and 1.5 inches for xl in both x and y axis so basically the amount of distance of each size is adjusted from the base size likewise let's create this point as well to move my point to the right i'll give a positive value of half an inch in x axis next i want the point to move downwards so this time i will need to give a negative value in the y axis so this is how you work with distance option now let's create these points using the offset option in offset you might notice the sizes are written in small to medium medium to large and large to excel this means in offset option the distance is calculated from each sizes for example half an inch is added to grade the size s to size m similarly half an inch is added to grade the size m to size l again half an inch is added to grade l to excel above the sizes option you will also see an all option if the difference between the sizes are equal you can input the value here and it will get reflected in all the boxes this will save you some time to grade points for all the sizes i will quickly grade the other points as well There is one more option called as arrow key movement. This works by using the help of arrow keys on my keyboard. If you plan to grade one or more points together and the difference in value between them are the same, the arrow key is your best friend. So how this works? You just need to input how much you want the point to move and using the arrow key you grade it in that direction. To move the point upwards, I'll click on the up arrow key. and then to move the point to the right direction i click on my right arrow key so i'll follow the same thing right arrow key to move right and down arrow key to move downwards 
So in this case, I'm going to make multi selection of my points and I can do it at one stretch. I can move it to the left side and I'm selecting each point. So for the next one, I am going to click on the down arrow key, down arrow key again, and then to the right. Now I'll quickly create the rest of the pattern. You may notice that I am changing the value as I go. Wherever you are using the same value, you can keep on clicking on the arrow keys. Wherever it's necessary, keep changing it in the property editor. Now we can also copy paste the grading from one pattern to another. I'm going to first grade this point and I'll hit left key. Yes, so once I'm done with that, I will right click on my point and I'll get a copy option. There's a shortcut control C. Then I'll go to the pattern where I want to paste it, right click and paste. So this is how you can copy paste a grading from one pattern to another. You can also grade using the line. So you just have to select the line and click on the arrow key. That's how easy it is. Now if you have graphics on your garment, you also have an option to adjust the placement of that graphics. I'm going to use the arrow keys again for this. I will move 0.1 inches to the right and 0.2 inches downwards. So again, with the help of arrow keys, I can grade it easily. Now that I'm done with the grading process, I can now change the sizes in the grading tab and see the changes happen in both 2D window and 3D window. Once I'm happy with the size, I just need to simulate it once.